Brothers and sisters in Christ, our hearts are filled with deep grief this morning, having learned of the attacks of our brothers and sisters in Christ in Egypt, in which many were killed and others were suffering greatly. I've asked all in our diocese, people of all goodwill, to join together in prayer, praying for those who die, those who are suffering for their families, praying for the end of the persecution of Christians throughout this world and of all such violent attacks. This occurs on the most sacred of days, and yet we do not despair because it is the day that Jesus took up his own cross, took on the darkness, the evil of the world, and through his cross and resurrection proved victorious. It is to the Lord that we turn, most especially in this hour of need. Brothers and sisters in Christ, how do we make this week holy? Perhaps we can see ourselves in some of the central figures of the passion just proclaimed and understand more clearly what Jesus is asking of us. We are like Peter and James and John who fell asleep could not stay watch with the Lord. For this week to be holy, we must stay awake with Jesus. We have to take steps to make sure it's just not like any other week. To allow a little bit more time for prayer and silence and and meditation on the passion we just heard. And perhaps be with the Lord at the celebration of the Lord's Supper on Holy Thursday and of his passion on Good Friday. We are like Judas, who betrayed the Lord. For at times we fail to keep those promises we have made to God. For this week to be holy, we need to hand over to the Lord our sins and our failures confident in God's divine mercy. We are like Simon of Cyrene, who was told to help Jesus carry his cross. For this week to be holy, we must take the initiative, reach out to others, maybe write it in our own families, and circle friends, and assist them especially those carrying heavy crosses at this time. We are like Joseph of Arimathea, who asked for the body of Jesus to be buried. For this week to be holy, we must die with Jesus. We must die to our old selves, our old way of living, only to know the Easter promise the tomb will be empty and we will rise to newness of life in Christ our Lord. So if you see yourself in any of these central figures in the Passion, it's because it's true. During these sacred days, Jesus is drawing us to himself asking us to accompany him on this path to Jerusalem. So walk with the Lord. Unite your sufferings to his. Unite your entire life to him. For then and only then will this week be holy. Holy.